Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to start the program. First thing I'd like for you to do, if you've got cell phones, either put them on, turn them off, put them on vibrate. Thank you. We're here this afternoon to honor PFC Junior E. Reed, who gave all on 8-15-1950. Fighting the enemy in Korea. Reverend, you say a prayer of course. Let me explain first of all how I got involved in this occasion this afternoon. In 1948 to 1950, I was the student pastor on the Tomlinsville circuit of the United Methodist Church. And uh, I conducted Junior Reed's funeral service uh, at Big Ben, and I feel deeply honored to be here again after these many years. I'm going to read a series of prayers, and uh, following each of these prayers, will you please join us in saying amen. First of all, I will offer a prayer for the people of this land. O oh God, who has mercifully guided our forefathers to build a new world in this broad land, and who didst give them faith to believe that these very peoples might become one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So implant within our hearts today, we beseech thee, the desire to do thy holy will, that we may not fail them or thee, and that being always open to thy gracious demands, we may so serve thee in this present time, that thou canst here show thy favor to the generations yet to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and for his sake, amen. Amen. Now let us offer a prayer for all races and kindreds of humankind. O oh God, who art the hope of all the ends of the earth, the God of the spirits of all flesh, we beseech thee to hear our humble intercession for all races and kindreds of humankind, that thou wilt turn our hearts unto thyself, Remove from our minds hatred, prejudice, and contempt for those who are not of our own race or color, class, or creed, that departing from everything that estranges and divides, we may by thee be brought into unity of spirit in the bond of peace. Amen. Amen. Now let us offer a prayer for justice and peace. O oh God, the King of righteousness, lead us, we pray thee, in ways of justice and peace. Inspire us to break down all tyranny and oppression, to gain for every person his or her due reward, and from every person his or her due service that each may live for all, and all may care for each other. In the name of Jesus Christ, who cares for everyone, everywhere. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, we thank you for this occasion that brings us together. For many of us, especially those who are part of this Reed family circle, it brings back sad memories. But when we contemplate the life that this young man lived, and when we remember that he made a complete sacrifice for all of us, we offer you our thanks and praise. And we believe that the occasion that brings us together is in every sense good and in every way deserving of all the memories 
we hold dear of Jim. Amen. Amen. Would you all rise while we say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag? Please remove your ball caps. Morgan Perry will lead us. Honor God. Praise and honor. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is an honor for us, the Upshur County Honor Guard, to be part of this program. We are Post 3663 VFW, American Legion Post 7, DAV Chapter 5 and 36. Junior Reed gave all so we can be standing around here talking today. If it wasn't for people like this, protecting old glory, we wouldn't have a chance. And it is our honor to do this for the Reed family. We thank you, Bill. Thank you, Larry. I'd like to welcome everybody here today. And Larry was just a little bit modest when he was talking about the VFW and the American Legion and the DAV. They do this 365 days a year for fallen comrades. And we appreciate every one of you. We appreciate the sacrifices that you've made on behalf of everyone here. Because we must remember, we couldn't be here we didn't have freedom, the freedom that Junior Ellsworth Reed fought and sacrificed his life for. I'd like to read the following legislative resolution, committee substitute for House Concurrent Resolution Number 21 by Delegate Hamilton, adopted by the legislature February 22nd, 2012, requesting that bridge number 49-30-10.18 in the community of Ten Mile, Upshur County, West Virginia, be named Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed Memorial Bridge. Brass Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed was born on March 6, 1931, the son of Henry Ellsworth Reed and Francis Coon Reed of Ten Mile, West Virginia. And whereas being from a patriotic family, Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed enlisted in the United States Army in Upshur County when he became of age to enlist. And whereas Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed was deployed to Korea as a member of the 5th Cavalry Regiment, 1st Cavalry Division of the United States Army. And whereas Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed was killed in action August 15, 1950, while fighting the enemy, enemy in the Taegu area of South Korea. And whereas Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed was the first Upshur County soldier to be reported killed in action in Korea. And whereas Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed is buried in the Big Bend Church Cemetery, Sago, West Virginia. And whereas Private First Class Junior Ellsworth Reed is deserving of a fitting tribute, having served his country and his state with honor, and having given the ultimate sacrifice, therefore be it resolved by the legislature of West Virginia that the Division of Highways is hereby requested to name bridge number 49-30-10.18 in the community of Ten Mile, Upshur County, West Virginia, the private first class Junior Ellsworth Reed Memorial Bridge, and be it further resolved that the commissioner of the Division of Highways is hereby requested to erect signs at both ends of the bridge containing bold and prominent letters proclaiming the bridge, the private first class Junior Ellsworth Reed Memorial Bridge. And be further resolved that the clerk of the House of Delegates for a certified copy of this resolution 
to the Commissioner of the Division of Highways, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, West Virginia Post 3663, and the surviving fam family members of Junior Ellsworth Reed. I, Gregory M. Gray, Clerk of the House of Delegates, and as such, Clerk, Keeper of the Rolls of the Legislature of West Virginia, hereby certify that the foregoing is a true and correct copy of the committee substitute for House Concurrent Resolution 21, which was adopted by the legislature on the 22nd day of February, 2012. Signed, Gregory M. Gray, Clerk of the House of Delegates. I got it. Hut. Port R. Ready. Aim. Fire. 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 Three and R. Okay, at this time, we'll unveil the flag. I mean, bridge. So we need brothers on each end of the bridge, the family. Stay on this end of the bridge, would you please? Let's go.